In this video, I will show you how to bounce out a QuickTime movie. So at this point, your mix is fully complete. You like the way everything sounds. You just need to get the audio mix back on the movie. So highlight the entire movie, and you do that by either talking to the hand or double-click on it with the selection tool. Once the entire video is, is highlighted, you're ready to bounce. Please do not bounce out a QuickTime movie where you have selected part of the movie. There are bugs in QuickTime that makes this out of sync, white flashes at the beginning and end of it. It's just not a good thing. So first, just highlight the entire video to bounce out your QuickTime movie. Go to File, Bounce to, QuickTime. And the next key thing to make sure of is that your source, the bounce source, is what you want. Generally, you're going to want the main output of your desk, output 1 and 2. And then for the rest of this, just if nothing has been specified in the handout, we want wave, make sure it's interleaved, we always want interleaved, and 24-bit 48K is just fine. Pick a folder to save it in, and I'm going to call this my movie bounce and I'm going to save it on the desktop. Apple D for desktop, save, and bounce it out. Now, if I just hit bounce right now, if you have Pro Tools 10, that's your only option. It will do it in real time. If you want to do it at hard disk speed, select the offline option, and it will bounce it out at hard disk speed, which means that fast. And now, navigate to the desktop, Play your QuickTime movie, make sure there's audio on it, make sure it's in sync, and you're ready to go.